ladies and gentlemen welcome back to exotic astrology and finally it's the day of janmashtami and let's discuss from the geeta no 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 on the geeta from queen kunti's prayers which is there in the first canto of the shrimad bhagavatam so i have been discussing on queen kunti's prayers because they give us a beautiful understanding of <coughs> who lord krishna is and how to approach him and that sets the tone that sets the mood for understanding the gita very well because he is the ultimate object of all the scriptures so now when we understand lord krishna and his activities before that it is important for us to understand his authenticity authenticity means many times people ask that oh how do you know that it is this krishna maybe there is some other krishna maybe there are 10 krishnas because when krishna was there there was another clone of him <laughs> his name was pondrak so that story is also very interesting how he used to pose and pretend as if he is krishna he also had his own sudarshan chakra his own uh, gada and all, all the things which krishna had he also had okay uh, i mean he used to pretend that he is krishna his name was also vasudev but today here queen kunti will shatter all the misconceptions which may be there about lord krishna's position or his authenticity or his origin origin means that he will uh, she will give many references and she will exactly tell who this krishna is all right so today is the day of janmashtami and i think today is the best day to do this all right so there you go if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me regarding your chart regarding any area or you want to talk to me in general you can go to my website and book a reading one on one with me all right you will find the link to the website in the description section of this video below and i am on my transit to india so i am in munich we had very wonderful rath yatra yesterday and today also we celebrated janmashtami together many people came from the indian community it was wonderful so if you are in munich you can also come maybe tomorrow also we are celebrating okay so tomorrow i'll be going to delhi and i'll be meeting nitin ji there on tuesday morning all right so let's start uh, the queen kunti prayers again so we are reading from the first canto of shrimad bhagavatam the eighth chapter 21st verse and if you have not watched the other verses then please watch it it is there in this playlist of the bhagavad gita okay it is all for you so queen kunti is telling krishnaya vasudevaya devaki nandanaya cha नंदगोपकुमाराय गोविंदाय नमो नम इट्स वेरी सिंपल एक्चुअली नॉट वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड ट्रांसलेशन लेट मी देयर फॉर ऑफर माय रेस्पेक्टफुल ओबेसेंसेस अन टू द लॉर्ड हु हैज बिकम द सन ऑफ वासुदेव द प्लेजर ऑफ देवकी द बॉय ऑफ नंदा एंड अदर काउहर्ड मैन ऑफ वृंदावन एंड द एनलाइवेनर ऑफ काउज इन द सेंसेस सो शी इज टेलिंग krishnaya vasudevaya that means i am referring to that krishna who is the son of vasudev the son of vasudev is known as vasudev okay it's double a devaki nandan nandanaya cha who is also the son of devaki so devaki and vasudev are fathers of father and mother of krishna and nanda gopa kumaraya nanda maharaj is the one who was acting as the father of krishna we all know right nanda and yashoda gopa kumaraya he is gopa kumar means gopa means one who is herding the cows go refers to what cows kumaraya means one who is very young govindaya namo nama govindaya means here the word go means senses we have the senses yes we have the eyes then nose the skin and all the senses which we have indriyas as they say Govindaya namo nama. So here the word go means senses, and Govinda means one who gives pleasure to the senses. But it also means one who gives pleasure to the cows and the senses. Okay, so it has two meanings at a time. So the first Gopa was referring to one who herds cows, and the other Govinda is referring to one who gives happiness to the senses. Namo nama. I offer my ob- obeisances, my respects. So the purport is like this. the lord thus been thus being thus unapproachable by any material assets out of unbound and causeless mercy descends on the earth as he is in order to show his special mercy upon his unalloyed devotees 
and to diminish the upsurges of the demoniac persons all right so it said here that you cannot approach god by material assets like if you are very beautiful that doesn't mean god will come and appear in front of you if you are very rich or you are very intelligent or you have a lot of followers it doesn't work that way but out of unbounded and causeless mercy he descends on to the earth as he is so he descends as it is in order to show his special mercy upon his unalloyed devotees and to diminish the upsurges of the demoniac persons so to bless his devotees and to reciprocate with them and to kill the demons that is why he comes to this material world as we discussed in the gita in the shloka yes yada yada hi dharmasya glanar bhavati bharata abhyutthanam dharmasya tadatmanam sajamyam queen kunti specifically adores the incarnation or descent of lord krishna above all other incarnations because in particular this incarnation in this incarnation he is more approachable in the rama incarnation he remained as a king's son from his very childhood but in the incarnation of krishna although he was as the son of a king he at once left the shelter of his real father and mother king vasudev and queen kun uh, queen devaki just after his appearance and went to the lap of yashoda mai to play the part of an ordinary coward boy in the blessed vraj bhumi which is very sanctified because of his childhood pastimes so basically there is a comparison between krishna and the other avatars here specifically the author mentions about lord ram that lord ram he remained as the son of a king the son of dashrath maharaj as we know he is known as dashrath nandan throughout his life so there was a lot of awe and reverence when lord ram was there of course he is also vishnu only but it is bit difficult to approach a king right but when it comes to lord krishna he was very easily approachable because he lived like a ordinary cowherd boy in vindavan that's what he said that after he was born then his father took him to in to nanda maharaj yes we all know about that story crossing the yamuna so he lived like just ordinary person like you and me so that is why he is known as uh, he, he says that he is more approachable because of his childhood past times so he used to have past times with the gopas he used to play with his friends madhumangal sudama sridama all these people and he was like a very tender child for yashoda mai so it's a very human relationship you see therefore lord krishna is more merciful than ram interesting he was undoubtedly very kind to kunti's brother vasudev and the family so vasudev and kunti were brothers we all know that that is why kunti is uh, by relation the nephew of uh, i mean krishna is the nephew of kunti we all know that oh my friend has come here <laughs> i'm in munich so he's peeping through the window and seeing if i have finished the video because he told me that in 20 minutes your dinner will be ready <laughs> okay so now let's see the uh, the remaining so he had he not become the son of vasudev and devaki queen kunti could not claim him to be her nephew that's what i said and thus addressed krishna in parental affection so basically it said here that kunti is like a parent to krishna because in hindi as you say na bua she is like the bua for krishna so because of that she she is at a same level of his parents like nanda maharaj and vasudev but uh, she knows about this that sh- uh, that krishna is supreme personality of god so although she is in a superior position materially but she does not say that oh i am superior to you that oh i am your you are my nephew she doesn't say like that although she is his auntie because she knows who krishna is ultimately but it's written here that and thus she addressed krishna in parental affection but nanda and yashoda are more fortunate because they could relish the lord's childhood past times which are more attractive than all other past times so these two personalities were the only ones nanda maharaj and yashoda mai who could very fortunately witness all the past times of lord krishna okay 
others could not relish i mean in rajbhumi they could relish but devki and vasudev they could not relish because they were in the jail by kamsa so that's what he said here that they are so fortunate you see nanda maharaj and nishoda mai that is what is been said here because they are more attractive than all other pastimes because there's a high level of intimacy there you know somebody is playing like a child in the garden yes in the court here it's, it's very pleasing to see to the eyes there is no parallel to his childhood pastimes as exhibited in rajbhumi which are the prototypes of his eternal affairs in original krishna loka described as the chintamani dham in brahma samhita so that's what he said here that these leelas these pastimes they eternally go on in krishna's spiritual abode which is goloka vrindavan which is said so this vrindavan which we see here is like a trailer for the spiritual world so they go on eternally in the chintamani dham as in the brahma samhita the brahma samhita says chintamani prakara sadma sukalpa vriksha that shloka is there we will discuss about it some other time lord shri krishna descended himself at vraj bhumi with all his transcendental entourage and pa- paraphernalia shri chaitanya mahaprabhu therefore confirmed that no one is as for- fortunate as the residents of vraj bhumi and specifically the cowherd girls who dedicated their everything for the satisfaction of the lord so basically it said here that the gopis of vrindavan who were extremely selfless and they devoted their lives completely for krishna they are the most fortunate because they got the opportunity to do that we will discuss about this later his pastimes with nanda and yashoda and his pastimes with the cowherd men and especially with the cowherd boys and the cows have caused him to be known as govinda so he is playing with the cows that is why he is known as govinda that's what he said lord krishna as govinda is more inclined to the brahmanas and the cows indicating their thereby that human prosperity depends more on these two items namely brahmanical culture and cow protection lord krishna is never satisfied when these things are lacking so when you protect the brahmanas the genuine brahmanas not somebody is born in a brahmin family or something like that there's no caste system which has been uh, which krishna is adorning here but brahmana means one who is a brahmin by qualities not by birth yes krishna uh, gita says there are many qualities for a brahmin which is there chamo damas tapasso cham shantir arjava mevacha gyanam vigyanam astigyam brahma karma swabhavajam we'll discuss about it later so and when you protect the cows you can get milk from them you can do yagyas and you can do so many things yes and milk is considered cows milk is considered very good for nourishing us spiritually also so basically the beauty of vrindavan is described here and how krishna is having a more intimate relation with others than lord ram that is what is been said here so queen kunti very beautifully says na that i am offering my obeisances to that krishna who is the son of vasudev the pleasure of devaki pleasure means the son of course because the son or the daughter gives a lot of happiness to the mother that is why it is said the pleasure of devaki and the boy of nanda and other coward men of vindavan so if somebody says oh i am krishna i am god you need to ask them do you fulfill these criteria okay are you the son of vasudev devaki are you the one nanda gopa kumaraya govindaya namunama you have to ask him this question if he says no i am no not any of these then bye bye you are not krishna <laughs> you are krishna but you are some other krishna you are not the krishna which she is worshiping okay so there you go that is what i wanted to say and it's very dark here and i don't know how the audio is but i still thought that maybe i can make a video because krishna was also born when everything was dark okay So enjoy the Jamashtami festival may god bless you do spiritual activities today and until next time wish you good luck bye bye see you